Hello, this is Warrior's Team presentation. Hello, this is the leader of Warrior's Team. My name is Jana Mohamed Ganaini. I'm 16 years old. I was born in Alexandria, Egypt. I have participated in that university research. Also, I have won Beaver competition and earned a scholarship to learn C++ programming language at the Academy of Science and Technology. I also went as a coach for the U12 category in Eiffel Challenge Hergada 2021, and I'm currently a Junior Academy 2022 mentee and 100 Girls 100 Futures by the New York Academy of Science mentee. Yeah. Also, I'm a DC student. Hello, I'm Jana Shemi Zin Abdelaziz. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Alexandria, Egypt. I started the coding from uh, 2019. I participated from Codespace Egypt in 2019, participated from the AUI in 2019, also in the Nile University Second Egyptian Junior Researcher Competition, uh, participate in Scratch, uh, finalist in iCool Challenge 2021. A uh, finalist in RCAP in 2022, second place in iCool Challenge 2022, first place in the Super Team RCAP China in 2021. Hello, this is Supreme Mohamed Ibrahim. I'm 15 years old from Alexandria, Egypt. I have uh, participated in Ch RCAP China 2022, finalist in RCAP China, second in iCool Challenge Egypt 2020, finalist in RCAP Sano 4 2022. This is our photo. Executive summary for Premier of Premier League Challenge. We have participated in the finalists in first step U19 and U19 category. We have used many strategies such as go to deposit and block and color strategy and super object strategy. As many pickups as and drops as the robot can make in the shortest amount of time are the goal of the post phase. The robot must navigate obstacles like batteries, traps, and other obstacles. In order to win, we must come up with a range of strategies, like go to the buzzard and color strategy, as well as certain programming techniques, including for loop and nested edge. After acquiring a red cyan and black object, the super item is produced, appears for one second at its point X and Y in a random location on the world. We record the positions of the super and super plus objects by establishing a second variable to capture their xy coordinates and then bring it at the same time to the busting. How to get super plus object quickly? We use the traditional color strategy to collect two, if two of each color, cyan, black and red, and that would make the super plus object. We used our block strategy to make the robot collect two cyan objects from the super area and to collect double points so we can gain more score and collect the cyan more quickly. We made the robot collect the two red and black objects randomly from the map and avoiding the maze area because the robot was wasting time there. And it was hard to get the robot out of it. And we used our depositing strategy to make the robot only create super plus object. So we can gain more score with it to give us total score of 720 to 900. This is the video of our super plus object. To get as many super plus items as we could, our technique was to repeatedly collect a double RDB by adding a variable called deposit, which increases by 76 each time the robot deposits any kind of object. And by creating a statement, of course by using the variable depositing, that causes the black to be full and the cyan to be zero and the red to be zero whenever a super plus object is created. So that makes the super object only collect uh, cyan and red object and avoid all black objects. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, the robot is only collecting red and cyan objects and avoiding any black objects. This enables the robot to gather random red and cyan items with the loaded super plus object and score points without using another super object. Also, once the red, cyan and super plus object have been fully deposited, the robot starts to collect a double RGB to make a new super plus object. The robot catches about three or four super plus objects during the whole match using this method giving a final score between 1080 and 1440. And this is our how to get the super plus object quickly. First, the position of the super object is transformed into a new variable. Next, the robot is made to circle the map until it has gathered the super object by using a, a mathematical function called tangent. The robot will have successfully gotten to the super object that has been targeted when the distance between it and the target plates equals zero. In order to continue following the super object, the, robot ultra the robot's ultrasonic sensor will normally avoid obstructions and borders we placed around the map's perimeter. If the robot is unable to approach the super object directly, it will eventually circle the robot until it gathers it. We use a geometrical method known as the circle's tangent. How to use blocks. We made the robot stay in the super area so it can get to see an object and the robot won't leave the super area otherwise it gets to see an object. We make variable called cyan in which when the robot collects to see an object the, the variable will be 132 if the, the robot collected to see an object. Otherwise it won't be out of the block. Once the robot got to see an object, it will innocently go to the down deposit and go on its way. The robot will collect two black and red objects. And this is the video and the flow chart of the block. The robot make the go to deposit or go down to just collect two uh, two red objects and when it uh, out of the super area it collect black objects and then when collect six objects it will go to, to go to deposit this is the flow chart of the block and this is the boundaries that it is inside the block I made the block like in which it is another map inside the map, in which it makes avoid, uh, avoiding boundaries as if it was in the whole map. And this is an example of our good deposit flow charts. And this is our video game. This is the first round of it, and uh, it collects uh, the color strategy, uh, the color strategy that, uh, that we made. And this was uh, good the deposit. And this is the and this is the robot going to the super object. I know which gain to the real world. Participants gain a poster of knowledge and skills during their training in the co space rescue program, which they make which they can use to create a wide range of amazing projects. The Co-Space Rescue Program provides participants with ex extensive knowledge and training that they may utilize to produce a wide range of sp particular projects. We can lead the robot to the soldiers with, with the smallest heart heartbeat range after impl implanting a heartbeat monitor device into each soldier, connecting it to our robot after holding the object collecting it. The robot will move it to a secure 
position with the aid of its wheel, the Bostinger, and then restarts the cycle. The nearest body near, nearby can be located using the robot's ultrasonic sensor. This is a photo of our, of our example. Our future work. Our first plan is to take part in the Eiffel Challenge 2023 and to study additional programming languages and, of course, to earn a scholarship to study abroad. We are also planning on studying robots and artificial intelligence in college, and we also are willing to study robotics hardware. And there is a list of competitions that we're, we are planning to participate in, which are CPERS, EOI, ROV, ISEF, and RCJ. And this is, was our presentation for today. Thank you for watching uh, Warrior Steam presentation. Bye bye. Sayonara. Anya.